Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see how to access the instance variable. So I already explained about the instance variable in the previous video. Just recall, instance variable is nothing but a variable that is defined as a member of class. So this is member of a class. It is present inside the class. Okay, and memory allocates to instance variable whenever object is created. Whenever object is created, a memory is allocated. A memory allocates whenever the object is created. Until that, the no memory will be allocated to the instance variable. Whenever the object is created, then only memory will be allocated. So, where will be stored this instance variable? It will store in heap memory. Right? So, this is the instance variable. Now, let's try to work on how to access the instance variable. So, generally, there are uh, two ways. Two ways to access instance variable. Two ways to access instance variable. Can you guess what are the two ways that we can access the instance variable? One is by using an object. By simply using an object, you can access the instance variable. And then by using an object reference. By using an object reference. Why I am talking about the object? Because the instance variables, a memory will be allocated whenever the object is created. So, if so, whenever the object is created, then only memory allocated. So, we can access the instance variable by using an object or by using an object reference. So, let me explain you with an example. I will explain how to access the instance variable in Java programming with the help of an example. Okay. So, let's take the class, small letters, sample, S is the capital letter. So, instance variable, int A equal to 50, I am taking. Here, I am not writing any static variables, only I am just explaining the instance variable, okay. So, int, how to access the instance variable. So, public, static, void, main, string, augments, right, okay. So now I am directly writing system dot out dot println. So here directly I can access. So this is new dot sample. What type of is it new dot sample? So, uh, so not dot, dot is not there. New sample. Let me write. New sample. An object is created dot a. So, this is using an object. This is the first access. Using an object. Using an object. I am accessing the instance variable. This is A is an instance variable, right? Using an object. New sample is an object. By using an object, I am accessing the instance variable. Okay? So, next. Or else, uh, let's create an uh, object with the help of object reference, right? Sample d equal to new sample okay so now system dot out dot print ln i'm printing is d dot a simply d dot a this is using object reference using object reference So, this is the two ways of accessing the instance variable. This is my instance variable. This is an instance variable. So, these variable I am accessing in the main program, main block. So, system.out.print directly with the object, using object, new sample. New is the memory allocation, dynamic memory allocation. It is a constructor, okay, which constructs a variable. So, it constructs a memory allocations and the A will be accessed. So, using an object. So, in that memory location, A will be stored. Next, sample d equal to new sample and system dot order directly d dot a using an object reference. Here, d is an object reference. So, I am accessing the instance variable by using object and using the object reference. So, you can write any one, any one. No need to write both. Okay, you can write these or you can go with these two steps. Any one. So, here, according to here, the two objects were created. So, this is one object and this is another object. Two objects are created. 
so using an object reference any number of times the print by calling system dot out dot print and d dot a you can be called so what happening here this is the stack area so local variables will be stored in stack area here only stack area and heap area will be present no method area because static uh, class variable is not present so only stack area and heap area will be present heap area okay so first what has happened so instance variable first it will not be uh, accept because whenever the object is created then only memory will allocate so go to the main function in the main function first a memory will be allocated an object is created so now object is created so with a the value 50 so that is sample object is created so next another object is created another object is created so with a d a reference variable with a reference variable object reference with an object reference an object is created which contains a data 50 this is a sample object so this is how to access an instance variable in a uh, programming java program so let's remember this uh, note down this point use an object use an object to access an instance variable if you want to access an instant variable use an object because object has to be created right so use an object to access the instance variable if it is required only one time if it is required only one time only one time then better you go with the directly object so how just now i had seen that uh, shown you that new sample enough dot a use this type of uh, uh, method only if an object use an object to access an instance where if it is required only one time if only one time is better you go for this suppose if you want to use an object if you want to use an object reference use an object reference when you're going to use the object reference so that means uh, like creating um, sample d is equal to new sample create the object reference and access the object like d dot a so use an object reference so this is an object reference object object reference d is an object reference to access an instance variable if it is required if it is required more than one time more than one time remember this so these two points just remember so when to use the object and when to use the object reference in an instance variable use an object to access an instance variable if it is required only one times if it is only one times you can go with it so, and use an object reference to access an instance variable if it is required more than one time if you want to go with the more than one time then better to go with the object reference so this is the way you have to access the uh, instance variable the instance variables can be accessed by uh, two ways so one is the by using object and by using the object reference so in the next video we will see how to access the class variables